Kepeaulio, kenapa peta? Ari? They didn't have any more in stock. Oh? They didn't have any in stock. Did they not? No. Anti-glo Anti-globalist demonstrations happening all over the world in different countries. Share it around for me, please. David just turned around and says to the cop, I hear your chain is flat, yeah? <laughs> and she looked down at the thing. <laughs> It's a war on the children. Oh, she's here on her own. It's not a Ukraine flag, in my think. John! John! Hold that just for a minute, will you? Oh, John, take it back off in a few minutes, eh? <laughs> Paul Murphy is not very proud, he went skidding, did not know he was tail between his legs, he's not very proud at all. It is. There's the traitors, look at it. 
Yeah, yeah there was a bloke walking by there as well with his missus and uh, you could hear him saying to it, oh, it's about it's about everything, not just uh, not just immigration. So people are talking about it. <coughs> she was me. It's the sound and uh, picture and all that, right? Yeah. There's the next generation handing out the flyers. Sorry. Trust you to be here causing trouble with your car. Gar uh, Garfield. It's a double battle car. <laughs> Less of that. Stay time. <laughs>
This is the one here, yeah. Davy says to our few minutes ago, here your chain is flat. And she looked down to have a look at it. He knows you! Alright, y'all, what's happening? Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! 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 Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Considering it, yeah, there's two or three other yokes as well that uh, I'm looking to jump onto as well, yeah. We do not consent to the sexualization of Ireland's children. We do not consent to the end of Ireland's neutrality. We will not live in your 15-minute cities. We won't live in your dystopian future. We will give up our lives to defend our culture, our heritage and our children. We do not consent to close swaths Dystopian future. We do not consent. 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 The MSM, I'll probably hear somewhere yeah, in the background. Look at, you, look at the Russian flag, look at it. <laughs> Why are you getting a picture of that ad? Oh, <laughs> 
all forms of global globalisation, of globalisation, uh, profiteering. Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Ah, shit! Whose country? We're not gonna let it run here. 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 We're not gonna let Hand off our children! Christ! Hand off our children! Hand off our children! Come on and join us, guys. Stand up for your country! Stand up for your country! Don't be involved in the business! I know, I know. Shit. Okay, I'll be the back. Protect Rolling Nation! Protect Henry Fire! Ah! He's left those. 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 And the Irish government has signed us up all the war the the of the world. I'm so be People are dying in the medical trials. And Leo Varadkar won't talk about it. He doesn't give a shit about any of us. Stand up and push back. Leo, Leo, Leo! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Leo, Leo, Leo! Leo, Leo, Leo! Leo, Leo, Leo! Leo, Leo, Leo! Uh, Sean, this Polish fella here, I forget his name. Um, shit. Uh, Sean, yeah, uh, Saladin. I'm going to have to with us. Oh. Hey! 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 Hey, oi. Ew, ew, ew. All right, boys.
bump, bump photo. Share this around from me everywhere, folks. Eh? Thank 
Surrender. Never. Let's go, boys. I love him. 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 I And this is where all the lefties were escorted to last week or two weeks ago from Sandwich Street. Right from down there, yeah, all along up here, all the way around there. Literally, and that's hot. Is your number one fan now? Your number one fan? <laughs> We do not consent. We do not consent to globalization. <laughs> <laughs> I went the wrong way. We will not live in a digital slavery world where every penny is spent to be right. Our beautiful nation from globalist destruction. There you go, give us it.
Now I'm losing my gang because of you. Smile. He never smiled for you, did he? The miserable bleeding bastards. Deadly, isn't it? Look at this silt there, look. They are... Sound all right now, is it? It's a mission to get through to the sun. Hey? Only took me a half now to go back to the front. <laughs> Bang! I don't have them. I don't have them. Oh, my new one? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, Irish Kev, YouTube is Kevin Coyle 4726. My new, new TikTok, I think, is Irish Kev. What no, happened then you get distracted? <laughs> you have? Lovely.
Get a new fucking sign. Get a pee in the fire. Get a pee in the fire. Where is it? There's a joint. <laughs> good man, good man. We 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 Whoop, whoop. in the doll. I think you have to type the whole thing in, it's Philip Doyle, citizen journalist. But you have to type the whole lot in. Look, I'm still coming up. Good man.
Hey, yo, motherfucker. We do not consent to globalization. Still coming, still coming. Still coming. <laughs> look, still coming, look. Good lad. Good. And that's still coming, that's still coming. Still coming. Fill up the way I see this in journalists, they have to type the whole lot of her in. <laughs> still coming folks, still coming, still flags there at the back look. Okay, look, still coming, still coming. What's gone? into a positive, you know, like for years here people used to give out about the church and the power they had and then all the corruption the church fell and uh, you know what I mean, like you can argue all the about religion but you can, there's always one thing you can say, religion never said that it, it, it controlled absolute truth but what the politics, these globalist politicians are trying to do is they're trying to create an artificial reality Right, where they get to say what, what's right and wrong. And uh, so they, they, they get to control everything. They're playing God and at the same time giving themselves a right. They got on with them. So they want us to believe that they're the most evolved thinkers that they're going to lead by example, but they're not leading by example. They're giving themselves pay rights at the same time that they're making everything. They want every person in Irish to continue taking more and more cuts and more and more pay. But back to the whole Roderick O'Gorman thing. There's no way uh, any any minister should be put in unless he has hands-on experience of family. Yeah, it should be a mother with kids. It should yeah. be a mother with kids or a father with kids, 100%. It's Otherwise, it's just a mockery of the whole concept of protection. Uh, and protection the last two ministers of our children have not had any kids. Yeah, but he's like friends with who? No, I'm Peter yeah. Ford, Pat Cochran and yeah. uh, uh, Peter Thatcher. Yeah. yeah. Now, I mean? now, while you're here, Paul Murphy, right? Paul Murphy called this man and me two far right fascists. Right? Yeah. Well, all we're doing is concerned parents help our kids. Yeah. What do you think of that? Like, think he's harassing me and he's harassing Kevin. Well, I tell you one thing Paul Murphy needs to know. Any time that he slanders any of our patriots, we stand shoulder to shoulder with them patriots. You attack one patriot and you attack every single one of us. So they can, they can shove their slander where it, where it doesn't shine. But at the end of the day, we're going to be proven right. We've absolutely every right to protect our children and protect this country. And any attack on any patriot will be met with the defence of all patriots. End the story. Man, man. Well said, Kev. Well said. Well said. Well said. Thank you. 
I'm Pat Hogan. Ah, uh, UK, U UK, UK activist. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. Roderick O'Gorman needs to go. ASAP. ASAP. Pat Hogan. Pat Hogan was one of his, the leader of Antifa in Ireland. Yeah, he was caught with thousands of Troy Pawn images as well. And he's friends with Roger O'Gorman too. You know what I mean? It's, it's legal. The terrorist organisation everywhere else. Yeah. The fucking fund is not even locked the Irish. Up Our movie needs to be locked up. Absolutely. The whole Ireland should be locked up. The whole Ireland should be locked up. The whole Ireland should be locked up. We're not a leader. Yeah, 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 we're not. We're not. We're not leading we're not any far right movement. We're, 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 we're just supporters. We're just we don't need anything. We're concerned. No, 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 no. We're just genuine parents. That's all. We are out for our kids. We want Pete Thatcher back. 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 We want Pete to go through George Nolan's laptop the check is safe as and well. check George Nolan's phone, his laptop, everything to do with George hey, Martin Nolan needs to be investigated. Hey, hey, <laughs> <laughs> Get in there, Kev. Get in there, Kev. Get in There, yeah, there's a picture on the outside the head. What? Look at, look at, you played the guy. He said, Now, where were we? We were at George Nolan. Yeah, George Nolan. Where were we? Yeah, we were at George Martin Nolan, right? I want your laptop investigated by an independent body, right? This is what I want. Yeah. I want Roderick O'Gorman, Leo Vladka, right? Nolan, Norma Foley. The whole lot is to do lie detector tests. Yeah. We don't believe one word that comes out of you that mouth. You don't belong as Minister for Children of Garmin. It's a disgrace. You're Peter Thatcher's friend. The whole world is watching us. It's an embarrassment. Here, Minister for Children is best friends with a man who wants to lower the sex age with kids. They get a pedophile friend. So you need to step down. This and and, and Pat Corcoran, and Pat the leader Corcoran, of Van yeah. Tifa in Ireland, who's got with Hells the Choice Parliament as well. Him, O'Gorman, Thatcher. Three best friends Man. there anyone could have. They're yeah, because you have to go in there. He's belonging there by him. That's it. And, and the problem is, the problem with this country is, no one lets you off. Yeah. You know what I mean? How can someone with 4,000 child sex images get a three year suspended sentence? No one, your laptop needs to be checked. Alana that was stabbed in the eye. Stabbed in the eye. Four years, two years suspended sentence. What the hell is that? This has never been about racism because you've done it to all nationalities, no one. You know, one person that went before you, you said, I'll oh, be giving him a discount because he, you know, yeah. doesn't speak any old English. If, you, if he was Irish, he would have got double. You know what I mean? You have to go, Nolan. Step down. Nobody wants you in this country. Yeah. You should actually leave the country. We don't even want you in the country. And I'll go home and step down. Back there, yeah? He came out of a restaurant here like a chef. Should have boxed the hell out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sorry for the footage being a bit all over the shop up and down now, Rev. I'm literally walking backwards. Murphy was out down the mess day in Jobs Town, he was. Meet the people that love that freedom so much. They stick their head up from the boat of politics. They aren't afraid to be saved. I'm sad, buddy. <laughs> Are we fucking there? My phone won't let me zoom in. But it says 15 George's key. Your 15 minute city starts here on that on that side. Oh there she is. It just goes just goes it just goes to show you though, you know what I mean? That it's, it's right there, it's, in, it's right there, it's in your face, like. You know what I mean? People who don't know about the 15 minute cities, I suggest you go look into it, yeah? You know what I mean? There's the old trains, okay?
Rüstung da. Da tosch ich mir. Da tosch ich mir. Da tosch ich mir. Da tosch ich mir. Nice. Das ist ganz schön. Da bike. Sticks and stones, they break my bones, but call me fire, right? But never hold me. Uh huh. And the. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's dedicated, isn't she? <laughs> yes, look at this. <laughs> Put your seat belts on because we're in this for the long haul. I think this is gonna go off in a half an hour. I think it's only 90 minutes long. So, uh, just keep an eye on me. All right. Yeah. No, not today. He, he's, he's going away from me. Hey, yeah. Look at this for a pose.
What's the crack? I'm starting to learn Dublin. I'm spending so much time over here. I really appreciate the people that are teaching me Dublin. And again, bon dia to Portugal. I'm standing in solidarity with the people in Portugal who have to put up today with the build of our criminals coming to their beautiful ancient cities. So again, we're standing with the people of Portugal to call the globalists out. Hello to Australia, where I think this idea begun. Good evening and welcome to all, good afternoon and welcome to all the Irish people that are abroad. We're just here to tell you, your country is still here. We're keeping the flags flying and we're keeping the turf. Yes. And we're keeping the turf. And I'm here to tell you, we 
will not eat Z-bugs. We will eat our beautiful food that's not poisoned with chemicals from the fantastic lands in the county of Meath and our beautiful fish that has been taken by the Spanish, sorry Spanish people, and by the Portuguese who have had no choice. And our ministers tell the fishermen to sell their boats to all the people that have stood here today. We're calling out the globalists. We're here to tell them we're protecting not just Irish children. We have to start with them first. We're here to protect all the children. And if you don't like it, Mr. Schwabi, go get a life. But you don't take our lives and you don't take our freedom. And my last, and my last words are to all Gorman. To all Gorman. The people have spoken to Mary Lou. The people have spoken to the Red Car. The people have spoken to Aidan Ryan. The people have spoken to Richard Boyd Hyphen The people have spoken finally to a Marlene I think you already know. You need to take a side. <laughs> The best to last, my my personal friend, <coughs> the Irish media. <laughs> the people have spoken. By the way, does anyone know? Is Claire still in her shed? Pizza, <laughs> what's she ever in her shed? To the Irish media and your treacherous. Traitorous accomplice to accomplices to genocide. I don't need to say any more. You've destroyed yourself. So good job on that one, Irish media. Well said. And so finally, Dell, get to the point. <laughs> and we're here today, and as we say, we're joining with other countries across Europe to call the globalists out. And we here at Wake Up Era, we're non-political, we're concerned mothers and fathers and grandmothers and grandparents and neighbours and just general Joe Soaps. But we're not Joe Soaps. There's something special about people that are willing to stand up. And we just want to welcome our friends from across the world. I think we should give them a big bullet of us. They always show up. In fairness, they always show up. She's on her own, she's a long ranger today, she is. She, so wake up, Vera. She's dedicated, Thanks isn't she? <laughs> We're so proud to present. Look, 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 at, look, at, look at Sean Harassner. <laughs> our little woman of freedom, our sovereign woman. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I forgot to say, my name is Vera. I am a woman. I'm here. History for you. My mother was a woman. Yeah. Hey. I hope so. And here's another little bit of history. My grandmother was a woman. I hope so. And to all the people who think that people are against them, we're not against you. We are against people who will take advantage of your vulnerability. Yep. And we stand yeah. with you when at an age you want to make a choice. Yep. So, ladies and gentlemen, a big, big Irish Bula boss for LJ. Yeah. You see? You see? If that was RTE, that would be cut out. Ladies and gentlemen, rerun. Let's give it up.
Pirelli. Yeah. Yeah. Children's futures matter. Yes. I do not think there is one person here that does not agree with this statement. Oh. And it, it doesn't matter who you stand with. We all stand in for the children. My mother was a mother. Her mother was a mother. Her mother was a mother. Mother. Yeah. I'm front of it. There we go. Another RT moment, couldn't it? <laughs> Whether you are here or not today, for all different reasons, and it's a pity because there's many reasons, but I'm going to call out a few. One, you do not agree with the undocumented illegal migrants flooding our country. Yes to genuine refugees, of course, but we house our own first! Yes! Two, you are not happy with the disgusting, and there is no other words for these books, pornographic books. Go on and pass them on to our children. Three, oh thanks Norma Foley by the way, that doesn't even have children. Three, you do not want a cashless society. Once this has happened, it will be to our detriment. And we will never be able to go back. And the children will not thank us for it. Four, you feel like coercion went down with the so-called vaccines. Which turns out that the conspiracy theorists, tinfoil hatters, i.e. the apparent far right, were right! Compensation for the injured. Five. You agree that it was unnecessary to wear masks. Tests are now proving that breathing in your own carbon dioxide all day is dangerous. And there was no research before they got us to put them on. Well, I wore it for four, the first four weeks. I didn't know what was going on. I did. I did. A trainer. Right <laughs> I hear Tyler Wolf up here. Fuck him. Excuse me, Lionel. We love you, Lionel. Six. You do not want the new hate speech laws. No. Never. This is the biggest freedom grabber. And if you haven't read them, read them. So dangerous. So dangerous. No more freedom. Seven. You are not happy with the 39th Amendment. Paul Murphy's a liar. Yeah. Paul Murphy is a liar. Yes. Children. Yes. 
their futures matter. I got to mention three things that I think are the most plausible to me anyway. If you have Facebook, get it out, go on Facebook, and go on to the Irish Environmental Defenders. They seem to have a way forward. We need a thousand, that's all we need. A thousand for the proper pushback. And two, obviously here, go to Google, to www.wakeupera.com. Mothers and fathers, mothers and fathers, aunties and uncles, grandmothers and grandfathers, that's all we are. We just care for the children. So anyway, it, oh yeah, also, there's a guy speak more in depth with this, and different people think different things about it. But why we are registered, we are under the crown, and everything the diabolicals are doing to us is legal. So I am going to properly de-register, because I don't want anything to do with the diabolicals. And anyway, united we stand, divided we fall. And remember, bad things happen when good people stand back and do nothing. So for the love of our children, please unite. The time is now. Children's futures matter. Children's futures matter. Children's futures matter. I'm going to sing a song. I often wondered why Phil, what Phil Lino would think about this madness going on. I've rewritten the lyrics to The Boys Are Back In Town. So on the chorus, it would be great if you could join me on The Boys Are Back In Town, The Girls Are Back In Town, We Are All In Town, Let's Take This Underground. <laughs> Different mic. Better reverb. Best, my best friend. Welcome to the Uptown Wind Energy Podcast. I'm Owen Hall. Rash up, rash up. I don't pay for YouTube premium anymore. We never did. Let's hope there's no ads in the middle of the song. <laughs> Oh 
Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> wrong. I thought you said so, man. I said so there a second ago. I just thought you said it.
We're going to don't have Mike and Leahy, I believe. I think Mike and Leahy. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, you know what this country is trying to do to our women. They're trying to eradicate the world, the word woman, and get rid of her role. And I'm here to tell them Irish women are here to stay. Yeah. We won't be eradicated. And our children need their mothers and fathers and grandmothers and communities. And so we're here to tell them. Stop it. Stop picking up women. Because we're here for the, for the long haul. And so I'd like to call up Noreen O'Shea, who I watch her. I've not met her yet, but I watch her. And her videos are electric. And Noreen, to me, get straight to the point. So do we have Noreen here? No. At the moment. She couldn't make it. Okay, we're going to move on. Gavin Pepper is here. Couldn't make it, hey. Yeah. We're all sorted. We do have. We're, we do have. we're just you know, we're trying to get through this. Oh, by the way, just to tell you, if people can leave their email uh, with uh, some of the guys and girls that we're trying to link up, we we, we go better. We want to work with everybody. Our final goal is for all of us to unite. And because Barry is such a gentleman. I've taken over the role of complaints officer. So anyone with any complaints about today, unlike our governmental bodies, I'll deal with your complaints quite, quite quickly. And you won't have to wait for me to get back. So we're going to go through. So I think our next speaker is somebody that has given so much time to wake up here. And any task he's asked to do, he's always the first in the group. So I'd like to call Philip to say some words to all you guys here and the girls in Dublin. Do we have Philip to the stage? Here he is, guys. I think they're a global company as well. Nice to see you, Philip. Hold the mic up, hold the mic up. I'll hear you. Come on, Phil. Yeah. Come on, Phil. Go on. Come on, Phil. I can't stand here and just say nothing. There's too much going on in this world. Oh, not Philip. This globalist boy. agenda. It's so plain to see that all our strings of our politicians are being pulled by the WHO and the WEF. And as I'm standing here on the keys, and I just look across the road, it says 15 George's Key. Your 15 minute city starts here. Like that was another conspiracy theorist, but there it is in writing on the wall, right in front of us. Welcome to your 15 minute city. And we're being bombarded at the moment. And we're in a war. And we're being bombed every day with child porn in schools. Hate speech laws coming out to curb our freedom of speech. We have a 39th Amendment where they want to delimit Irish people's property rights and change the Constitution to house all residents. Now, we are a land of 100,000 welcomes. So Kate made a fault here. But they're actually taking the piss out of us. We have busloads of unvetted migrants coming in. We have no idea where they're from, we've been told they're Ukrainian. There's no women and children, and they're all black and brown, I'm sorry to say, and I'm not a racist. I grew up listening to Bob Marley. Oh, come on. And Bob Marley said, you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you're from. I might have got that a little bit wrong. But, uh, but if you don't know your history, you're kind of fucked. The problem with us Irish people is our history has been denied us. We were told there was a famine in the 1800s and that they all died because they couldn't get enough potatoes. Like it was a genocide. We were genocided in the 1600s. We were the first slaves in the Caribbean. Thanks very much. And they're trying to save it again by sticking us in these 15 minute cities. Not giving us the freedom to speak or to go where we want. And I'm not going to stand up for it, and I'm not going to be quiet about it. 
I wish there was more people here. You know I mean? Close but them out and no, there seems to be a curse on the Irish people where they're all passing. There's barely a gap in the road. So we've got to wake them up to what's going on. Right. In Northern Ireland, oh, no, no, 25% of the land we just know the person who has been sold to Dalradian, Dal 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 a Canadian company that is mining for gold. Five counties of the north of Ireland have granite bedrock. Fermanagh is the only one that will not be able to support a mine shaft. There's gold in the hills of the Sparrens, and people have been protesting, trying to stop the gold mining for over, it must be four years now. And this is something that our politicians, north and south of the border, have not been telling us one word about. Last year, Sinn Féin called people out that were trying to waken people up to the mining. They call them conspiracy theorists. But the truth is, the UK government signed a white paper in 2014 or 2015, basically, to, first of all, they want to mine the gold out of the country. But secondly, and it's very important that people know about this, they want to use the empty mine shafts for radioactive waste. So the north of Ireland could become the biggest radioactive waste dumping ground in Europe, if not in the world. Now, there's a lot of talk going on about train crashes and chemical spills in the United States. Now, I don't believe in coincidences, everything happens for a reason. What happens is if the land becomes toxic, they move you from the countryside. They want to put you into your 15 minute city. They want the countryside empty. This country, 28% of the Republic, is also earmarked for mining. So that's over a quarter of our land is going to be mined by Canadian companies. Oh no, a lot of it is they call themselves no, mining the coal in County Clare. But they're actually a part of Dalradian. They're trying to hide the fact. So beware of all Canadians. <laughs> Say that again. We live I thought I grew up in a democratic democracy where we ruled ourselves away from the tyranny that we had to put up with for a thousand years from Britain and the Vatican. But we're not living in a fucking democratic, I'm sorry for coursing, but I get passionate about this. We are not living in a democratic society. We are part of the Commonwealth, we are still under the crown. Garda Shia Connor are a policy officer, they're not guardians of the peace. They are a limited company, registered in Dun & Bradstreet, and all your fines for your parking, your speeding, are sent to Canada. I've learned so much in the last three years, and so... Oh, these characters that are running our country are exactly that, they're characters acting, acting as like a true man show we're living in. We have no opposition party. I'm looking at a globalist trader poster today with Mary Lou Macdonald on the front of it. She was Fianna Fáil before she became Sinn Féin. Sinn Féin ought to be ashamed of themselves. They're no longer a nationalist party. They're a globalist bunch of traitors. And we have to be very careful. Coming up, we're going to have a vote for a united Ireland. Our state is called ERA. ERA never joined the EU. ERA is a 32 county sovereign independent state, no borders, north and south united. We have a constitution from 1937 that was written by de Valera and hidden from us. It was changed on the 2nd of September in 1939. We were under emergency powers act at the time because of the second world war. They took out 15, 13 articles out of the Constitution. Oh, you can't so stop. Oh, you can't say that. Known it's not the blue book, book, which has 50 articles. Now, if you take 13 articles out of a book and leave it with 50, how come you don't you have more words in the 50 article book than there is in the 63 article? This thing has been butchered and doctored. We have our rights taken away from us. We need to invoke the 1937 Constitution. I know there's arguments, 1919, 1937, which is which. We need a change in this country, and we have to be that change.
Look, there's so much going on and we are being bombarded. It's all by design. We need to fight back. Fight back against this. Fight back and unite. All the people that are doing great work. Your Philip Dwyer's, your Stephen Kerr's, doing citizen journalism around the country and showing what people do look at their messages. The truth. We've had problems in Sandwich Street. But RT will tell you there was violence. There was no violence. The only violent person was one of the squatters in the camp, swinging a metal bar at women and children. He came from Turkey. I'm sorry, I could go on for a fucking day about all this, but we got to stand up and fight back. Very good, Joe. Stand up. Thank you, Michelle. It's not easy coming up for your first time, I know. Mean, the next person coming up, I'm not going to say person, the next woman, one man, coming up. Oh, you never My God, she's a force to be reckoned with. I think you all know her. She is amazing, but we're going to play a little introductory song for her. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she should be running the late night show. She should be the presenter. She was! <laughs> that was a bit hard. <laughs> hey everybody! <laughs> Not that I need a microphone. <coughs> yeah, that's that. Right. Hi folks! Great to see all the wonderful people that did come out here today. But I just want to say pretty quick, shame on all the mothers in Dublin that stayed at home watching this on live stream when they should have been here standing up for their children and the fathers yeah. and the fathers shame on every one of you I want you to turn around if you're not looking at live stream at this I want you to look at your children on the sofa sitting on the floor plane wherever they are I did stay silent I didn't take up for you that's what you should be saying to your children but every one of you that came out here today and gave you up your day. And the ones that haven't got small children in school like me, I know what have kids in school. I'm here for your children. Yeah. Yeah. And shame, shame on any of you mothers. Shame on you for sitting at home in your pajamas, <laughs> watching it on live stream when you should have been standing here, walking along with the people with your children in their buggies. The mothers of Ireland need to come out or they're going to lose their children. Yes. Yes. If you think this WEF haven't got plans for you that says no to your child being indoctrinated in skills, you got another thing coming. If you think you're going to keep your children when you say to Tussle it's none of your business, you're sadly mistaken. So you still have a very short window to get up, get out, and stand up for your children. <laughs> now Mary Lou we have here, is there anyone here that still supports Sinn Féin? No! I didn't think so. But I want to say they supported lockdowns, they supported vaccines, they supported unlimited, unregulated migration of every scumbag that was emptied out of prisons into Ireland. They supported a bill to restrict our freedoms. Well, I'm going to take that word restrict out to actually take away and decimate your freedoms. Are you going to sit back and allow it? No! What are you going to do about it? Fight back! If you don't, your children's future is bleak, and I mean bleak, very bleak. I hate to even think about it. This is about your children, your grandchildren, your future grandchildren, which I don't think I'm going to get because my eldest young that told me I can make one. He said, my friends don't have a shilling, but have you think I'm going to go down that road, you can nip one if you want one. So I'm going to have to bury yours and stand up for yours. People, this thing is a hell of a lot more serious than you think it is. And for the first time ever, I'm not going to go over my five minutes, because I've been standing there for long enough. 
It's true as God, people. The people stood outside the Minister of Justice office. They stood outside of it and screamed and screamed and screamed into Charlie Flanagan about our freedom being taken away from them that we wouldn't accept it. And that was how long ago? A long time ago. And what did the people do? They sat back after that march and it was a massive march to the Minister of Justice office in Stephen's Green. We had a councillor from Cabaret named Caron Perry, never forget that name, walked over to a woman, yeah. an adult female woman, and punched her because he didn't agree with us standing up for our freedom. That's Caron Perry, councillor, Sinn Féin, people before profit, punched the woman into the face because he didn't agree with her. We stood up to Charlie Flanagan, but as soon as the new one that's all having our babies, that's going to be protected from the paedophilia in the schools, is yours going to be protected from the paedophilia in the schools? Yeah, just over there on our own. Not if the people don't come out and stand up and won't. You need to push it and push it like RDE pushed the lies and the vaccines on the people in this country and I know today is not about vaccines but I want to show you one post of people I have sorrows. if that doesn't tell you what this government can do to you I feel so sorry for the people that were duped and duped they were read it it says it in the writing. They believe the earth is overpopulated. But yet, he put an experimental trial in your bodies by telling you out of fear that you would get the flu. Do I knock anybody for taking the experimental injection? No, not anymore. It's all because me. I spoke to so not many people that brought their children by the hand to these death camps because they were scared they done it out of fear the people stood at the GPO and told you this government will not use one bullet they will not use one bomb they will not use weapons of destruction they will use a four letter word to make you take this poison and put it into your children. F A A R. And many, many fell for it. The guard fell for it. The nurses fell for it. And where are they now? They're out sick, or many of them are dead. The athletes are dead. And I just know now that one over there didn't take the vaccine because she's still second here. <laughs> <laughs> or else she got the placebo, one or the other. <laughs> but by God, I'm asking you people and I'm going to leave it at this. Everybody you know, do not condemn them for taking it. They have vax regret as it is. They have experimental injection regret as it is. Support them, help them. Guide them the right way now! Yeah. That's what we need to do, people. Guide them. They were duped. You are just stronger. And because you are stronger, does not give you the right to condemn them. Let's support them, people. And that way, we can support them and they will not. And believe me, there is a next round of experimental injections. But if you support them and give them the strength, they won't take it again. And let's say to the teachers one more time, Hey, teachers! Leave our kids alone! Leo, Miho, Ryan, leave our kids alone! We will not hand them over to you easily. you got a fight on your hands. Over and out, Dave. That's it, That's it. Gavin Pepper! <laughs>
And from one shouty woman to another shouty woman. I know people may feel a little bit grieved that so many people didn't show up today, and I am too. But what I say right here and right now, looking out at the people, guys, we have the cream of the crop. How is everybody? Right. <laughs> so look at first of all, a big thank you to Wake Up Ireland for inviting me here to speak today. Yeah. But we keep this about what it's about, the kids. It's about the kids, right? And we don't want this shit in the skills. We've told them a hundred times we don't want it in the skills. We look across at what's going on in Irish society. You take the Minister for Children, Roderick O'Gorman. Right? He's friends with Peter Thatcher. Can anybody here explain to me how a man like Peter Thatcher who wants to lower the age of consent to have sex with kids, that makes him a pedo in my eyes, yeah, yeah, is friends with Roderick O'Gorman and Roderick gets to be Minister for Children. Roderick doesn't have any fucking children. Yeah. Neither does Norma Foley. And she's telling us what's good and what's not for their kids. But we say no, right? As the same, it, it, it all leads, it's a big agenda. And that's what needs to be pointed out. Another man that needs to be called out today is that judge. Judge Martin Nolan. Yeah. 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 He he that up. man has let more pedophiles off than anybody in the world, right? He's a disgrace. His laptop should be investigated. He should have to do a lie detector test. The whole lot of them should. They're a disgrace. And their answers all the time are the same. They call all these good women and mas and dads and kids far right, far right agitators, far right this. You are full of shit. Yeah. We had enough of it. We're not putting up with it anymore. So, as a dad that has daughters, I'm not accepting it. Are you going to accept it? No. Oh. So how much do you love your kids? No. You love your kids more than that in the world and all you want them to do is have a safe environment and a safe education. School is for maths, English, Irish. It's not for fucking sex education. We don't need pornographic in the schools. Our clients don't. The people are trying to say the clients' wife are oh, they're watching porn in schools. Like this is a disgrace and it needs to be stopped. And we all need to stand up against it. I don't have anything else to say because it's about the kids today and fair play to everybody coming out and just hold the fort, don't back down, don't listen to the names they call you, be called every name under the sun, it doesn't work. Right? I think when you hear that, you know when people speak to the heart, when you listen to RT and all the mainstream media, how come they're never hoarse? How come their hair always looks perfect? How come everything looks good? Because they don't speak from the heart. And so next, I have to be honest, I didn't realize about Long Blood Rocks, and I'm not going to pretend I understood our constitution, like so many people. I just got on with my life. But the things I've learned in the last three years has made me thirsty for knowledge. And so with that, I want to learn more and more. And I think even to introduce it to our children at a small level. Instead of introducing pornography to our children, I'm mindful of those children here. Instead of introducing filth to our children, how about teaching them their inalienable rights? And so I'd like to call on Morlock to explain and to go through some of the most pertinent things in Anbonra. So is he here? He's here, isn't he? Oh, he's behind you! So, Murdoch Murphy! <laughs> testing, testing, deregister, deregister. Y'all hear me, yeah? 
I'm not going to take five minutes. I've been promised this mic for five minutes. I don't need it for five minutes. I'm not going to beat around the bush here, all right? I'm here to explain that word, deregister, because people seem to be pretty defensive when you mention it to them, all right? Now, first of all, I do support and promote a mass deregistration from the electoral register, and the reason being is because it returns power of referendum by default to the people. All right, you can't call yourself a republic if you don't hold power of referendum. It's so facto, your state is fake. Ireland Incorporated is a de facto state listed on Dunham Broad Street as a private company, and as you know, private companies operate for profit. You, the consenting citizens, are liable for the odious national debt. For the deregistration, you have to get over 50%. Right. Here's my bullet points. The people who are registered to vote Mass the deregistration has no effect on your entitlements or benefits. You that would be your social welfare, your disability your allowance, your children's yeah. allowance, all that stuff, all right? You know I mean? No effect whatsoever. This is a big issue, this part here, right? There's an argument saying that we can't deregister because the Ireland is shipping in uh, foreign nationals that are going to be given RS or PRSI numbers and they're going to be given the right to vote. Well, mass deregistration returns a de jour system. And with a de jour system, only those recorded as born here, pay attention to that word, I said recorded, not registered, only those who are recorded as born here are entitled to vote here. So mass deregistration it's all the more reason to push it all the harder. I mean, what's the, what's the alternative? You have to get over 50% right, for the next general election, 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 the next lovely politician competition. It's about in a year's time. You know, how much damage is going to be done between now and next year? This time next year. Number three, right? I've been contacted from people from Australia asking me, will I speak to the Aboriginal people with regard this movement of mankind away from legal? This movement is global. There are no leaders. It's a natural yeah, movement. Just, just, just and the people that have moved away Boom. are not coming straight, back. Not straight on top ahead. Boom. Point number four. You need to understand that the world is not going to stop turning. The sky is not going to fall down if we deregister. Because all you're doing is you're changing the terms and conditions of the contracts for the civil servants. You're changing the contracts to the point of where they're going to be accountable and sackable. All right, so we're returning to accountability. Number five, the most bitter pill for you guys to swallow here today is that the joke is on you. It is you who are converting this fraud. You've asked yourself, how come Leo the Leak doesn't get locked up for committing treason? The reason is because it's you who are converting the fraud. Okay? And point number six is mass deregistration is simple, logical, lawful, feasible. You're all holding a smartphone. You could all remove your power from this de facto state today. And this is my final point. And for some reason, uh, I, it's not making sense to me, my last bullet point. I said I'd write down a few words here, and when I see the word, I ramble on. I think I've said enough. I promote mass deregistration. Oh yeah, that was it. The last thing is, I, I, I'm we pushing very hard now yeah. for a national debate on this matter. I'm not suggesting that I need to be sitting at the table, far from it. I wouldn't feel qualified to be involved in the national debate. Okay, but there are very well spoken, eloquently spoken people that have all this information and that can convey it in the manner necessary. So, can we please have a debate on this suppressed subject? It has been suppressed for years. Anybody that knows me knows how much this matter has been suppressed. So. Let's have a great day. It was lovely to come up and see you face to face and say it in person. Can uh, can we get a national debate going? Uh, just get in touch with me and we'll push that on a bit. All right? I did tell you today was about a lot of things and it is about informing ourselves. And uh, look, today is about us coming together on a wake up era. We hope we try and achieve that. We do our best. We take phone calls and emails. We try and work with people. We don't leave people out. And uh, just personally, I'd like to pay a special tribute to the people in Mullingar who stood 
as the army handed over the barracks and to the women and the men in East Wall who started this and then the rest took up the gauntlet. <coughs> And to so many people around the country, I don't want to single the people out. But I personally, from a woman from County Meath, and I don't think we have many County Meath here, shame on them, shame on them, shame on them. For me personally, I want to pay tribute to the people of Dublin. Who started? It started off small in the communities, people who don't have the resources of other counties. And before we move on to our music, I want to pay tribute to the women, to the men of Dublin who bothered their ass and all came on out. And now, the moment I've been waiting for anyway, we all love Irish, we love the kyol and the crack, and just a little bit of housekeeping before we move forward. Guys, if you can just leave your emails with Wake Up Era, and that way we can be sure that we can get the word out there, and the work continues, and through the work continues, we work to unite. So ladies and gentlemen, can I introduce to you, our fantastic musician. Are you going to do an Askelga? No, it's not Askelga. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands on a big Bula bus, a big Irish welcome for MJ. Hey. How's it going, Ernie? How's it going, Ernie? You can do the old mic on. Good time, Ernie. Be well in that. Oh, Mark. Oh, yeah, this fella's good, he is, yeah. This fella's good. Before I start, um, I, I think I have to say something, folks. Uh, the registrant. Do you know in this? No, no, half day, half day. You have to have top notes, so it's. The yeah. Do you know women in this country for a long time didn't, couldn't even vote in this country, and they fall for it, right? And now there's people getting them to deregister. It's absolutely crazy, especially if this referendum comes up. We're going to need. We're going to need the numbers. We're going to need the numbers, right? The registrant is absolutely genocide, you ask me, for this country. See this? This gives us a, a, a sovereignty. It has rules. Why did they change the language in it? It's, it's not worth the crap. Why did they? You know what I mean? Why did they change it? Why did they constantly try to change this if it's not worth the crap? Because it, it is worth everything. In, 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 it's been organic, thousands of years old, our language. Look at all the signs. All I have to do is walk up a corner street and see statues with pro Gaelic. This is their language. It's our law. And they, and they have us under a blue one. It's a different one. Corporate one. That's what it, that, I just had to say that. Yeah. Don't be red, sir, folks. Hey, don't be red. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do a song by a man that lost his life for this country. Right? He lost his life for this country. A man called Bobby Sands. Right, we should all know who he is. No, he won't. He'll be looking down from the heavens. What's his problem? Remember what we're here for, guys. We're here for the children of ERA and we're here for the children of the world. So if we can all join together, 
as Irish men and Irish women. And that's exactly why the country's just, got um, this I'm shit. I'm just very people passionate. Like, like fucking everyone done. else, I've learned a lot. Um, I've been looking at our constitution for the past maybe two years now at this stage. Since I found out that I didn't know about it, like everyone else, I thought the blue one was theirs. It's not. It's a corporate. Right. Yeah. Having a big debate with five fucking brothers. Well, what are our names? I hope you make a scene now, Adam. She said, not the children of the world, the origin. And the marks of the feathers we carry. In the rest of your chains, we cry for our wings. Our good women, we left in sorrow. As the main fails and for our curses we hurl. I'll leave you on the thoughts of tomorrow. At the mouth of the foil, we bid farewell to the soil. The star below decks, they were done. A daughter is green, walking up from a dream. By a vision of all the rubber that are dying. The sunburned crew, as we dissed out the groom. Down a collar was down with a fever. Sixty rebels today, fall down for Bodily Bay. And many will meet their receiver. All together! Oh. Home in Derry. Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry. I cursed in hell as the bow did swell. A ship danced like a moth in firelight. The white horses rode high as the devil passed by. Taking souls to the haze by twilight. Five weeks out to sea, we were now forty-three. We buried our comrades in the morning. In our old slime, we lost in time. An endless night without dawning. Hot girl! Oh, I wish I was back home in Derry. I can't hear you! Oh, Back home in Derry. And women's land is a hell for a man. In the end, his whole life in slavery. Not again! When the earth climbing is raw and the gun makes the law, neither wind nor rain just for bravery. Twenty years have gone by and they've mended my bond. My comrades will go swamp behind me. The rebel I came, and I'd still be the same. On the cold nights, you will find me. Oh, 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 I wish I was back home in Derry. Oh, 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 I wish I was back home in Derry. And again! Yeah, the badge still at 23%. You know, a few hours and 10 minutes. I wish I was back home. I wish I was back home. I wish I was back home in Derry. For you, Bobby Sands. Guys, whatever our differences, I think we all agree. It's the songs that touch our hearts, that bring us together. Music! And so we, what we'd like to do now, what we'd like to do, guys, guys, can I just, we're, we're nearly there. We are nearly there. But again, what we'd like to do at Wake Up Era, what we'd like to do, what we'd like to do at Wake Up Era, can we just hush it down? Can we just hush you Good man. Thanks very much. Because we are here for the children. 
And we are here to call out the globalists. But we're also here, particularly at Wake Up Era, after spending months at Pfizer, the biggest globalist on this planet. We are here to pay our tribute and to show our solidarity to the people who stepped up and thought they were protecting Granny and to the people who stepped up and they thought they were protecting their children. And we'd like to say to, we stand in solidarity with England who now know their health minister is now known as Madazala Matt. And so could we just hush it down as we pay tribute to the people who have been damaged and hurt by this trial gene therapy and wake up era. We are not here to judge them. It's not our job. That's not our job. We are here guys and girls to show our solidarity with the people who are the now suffering no very, very serious one. side effects. And to the people who are staying quiet and are complicit in our genocide, we street. see you. We're gonna end this and it's now, your yeah. wall of so silence we're... that has continued this criminal act. So could we just stand for a moment, guys? 